More than two dozen businesses are competing in the downtown burger battle in Sioux Falls. But as Kellyanne's Kelly Volk reports, you don't have to be one of the contenders to benefit from the competition. Tammy Brown may not be in the burger business, but the owner of the Spice and Tea Exchange has seen a positive impact from the battle in the past. We see people come in either before they go out to get burgers, if, if a place is really busy and they're waiting to get in, or after they get done eating, they're just wandering around downtown if it's a nice January evening, which in South Dakota, that's relative. We're now about a week into the burger battle and just starting to come out of a deep freeze. We've had some people in, but I think It'll really start picking up when it warms up again. Last year's competition saw tens of thousands of burgers sold. It really comes down to that increase of foot traffic. And of course, the burger battle brings people to downtown Sioux Falls. It helps those burger battle restaurants involved. But just having people walking around, maybe seeing a shop that they've never been to. Anything we can do to support each other. So we tell people who come in, hey, if you're going to be downtown for dinner tonight, Go get a burger somewhere and we and we talk it up and then we know that they also tell people stay downtown and shop and have a good time. So it's a great community down here. That means support pouring in for the downtown business community. In Sioux Falls, Kelly Vol, Kelly Land News. Swear reminds people that if you want to take part in the burger battle from home, there are carry out and delivery options. To see what's on this year's menu, click the link in this report from Kelly on our website.